All right, so uh, game plan today, we've got uh, a fun little circuit going on. Um, we'll have kind of two blocks, okay? So we're gonna run for two minutes, take a little break, 90 seconds, a little break, 60 seconds. All right, we'll do that two times around with different exercises as we go through, all right? So the first pair of exercises, we have sit-ups and back extensions. So for our sit-ups, we're gonna be down on the ground, okay? Back's flat on the ground, sitting all the way up here, okay? A few different options, hello. A few different options, we can have our feet flat on the ground, we can have our butterfly stance with those soles of the shoes together, or we're gonna have those legs straight out, all right? Any one of those is fine. Just making sure those shoulders come all the way down to the ground and those shoulders pass that hip on the way up. So think 90 degrees plus range of motion, okay? Second movement in this first set is going to be a back extension where we're down on the ground on our belly, arms and legs are both extended. We're gonna lift all those limbs up off the ground, squeeze the top and come back down, all right? Up and squeeze and lower ourselves back down. We're focused on the lower back and glutes on this movement. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we have space between our knees and the ground and bring our chest off the ground, off the ground as well. All right, so I'm gonna get our timer set up here and we're gonna go for it. Uh, just follow along with me. We're gonna get going in about five seconds, starting with those sit-ups. We have six sit-ups, six back extensions. All right, all the way up, all the way down. So we're gonna to count to six here, and then we will flip over. Three, four, there's five, and six. Now we're gonna flip over, go to our belly, six back extensions. There's one, there's two. Remember, small squeeze at the top of each one. There's four. Five, once we finish here, we're gonna flip back over. So we're gonna go back and forth between these two movements for our first two minute block. All right, at the end of our two minute block, we'll have a little rest. We're gonna try to work as much as we can in this time. Breathing through each of those movements. Be quick in those transitions. We're 60 seconds down. 60 seconds to go. I finish our second round of back extensions. Make sure that we're not just doing like this. All right, make sure we're coming up and squeezing, be intentional of each of those movements. Get our six and flip it over. All right, we're feeling good today. We're gonna get this third round in here with about 30 seconds to go. All the way up, all the way down on both of these movements here. Big squeeze. So we're going to even out of that front and back sides here. Last one. All right, last five seconds. Give me a little more right here. Last two, one, and relax. All right. So we've got a nice little 30 second break. You know, I kind of really rushed that intro, but I want to make sure that we have time to get everything in today. So we're gonna take this quick 30 seconds break, and then we're gonna take that time block and we're just gonna cut it down. We're gonna go 90 seconds, same two movements. So you've got the practice. So we're gonna go same count, six sit-ups, six back extensions, but this time for a minute and a half. So trying to get as many rounds that you just did in a shorter amount of time. All right, well, let's do it. Six and six. You can start where you left off or you can start fresh. I will repeat my one rep that I finished with last round and start new extra work, you know. You get that six. We're gonna flip it over, feeling energized. After that 30 second break, I'm ready to get it in this second round. With the last time, all right, you gotta find where you get your motivation, all right? Really cling to it. Not as much work here. I'm still gonna 
Really, we're gonna have just as much work, just not as much time. All right, so really put yourself here. If you got three rounds last time, we're gonna try to get those three rounds in with some time to spare. Big squeeze at the top of each one. Make sure all four of those limbs are coming up off the ground. All right, we are down to seven seconds. These last few reps in here. And three, two, one, and relax. All right, feel good? Heart rate's coming up a little bit. Feel like you're working really hard? Great, so we're gonna take another 30 second break. We're gonna go one more time. This time, even smaller time block. One minute, 60 seconds. Get as many rounds of those sit-ups and back extensions as possible. All right. Promises. Last time we'll do these. One minute of work. Start where you want to. Ready? In three, two, one, go. So we're pushing over time this time. This is that last sprint to the finish. This is our last minute of regulation. We really got to put on the jets. We're on six. So we got a quick transition to our bellies for another six. We're still making sure we're getting that squeeze at the top of each back extension. That exercise is commonly referred to as something else, which we don't have the rights to. So it's back extension. This is going on YouTube, you know. Get these last six, last 15 seconds. Nice and easy, rolling up, easing on the way down. Flip it over, you get one, two, one, and time. All right, we're gonna take a minute. We've got one full minute of rest here. Give me uh, time to catch my breath. All right, stretch those abs out, stress that little back out a little bit. All right, we're gonna shift gears. We're gonna kind of reset our blocks. So we're gonna do another two minute block, 30 second rest, 90 second block, 30 second rest, and finish with one final minute sprint. Uh, exercises are going to change. We have two new exercises. Uh, we're only doing four reps of each, so less reps. Movement number one is gonna be a bicycle crunch. So we're gonna bring the opposite elbow outside of opposite knee. So look how much of a crunch this is versus this. All right, get all the way up over there. All right, all the way down, all the way up. One or two on each side is gonna be our four. Second movement is a hollow body rock, arms and legs extended, bring it up, rocking forward and back. One forward, one back is one rep. All right, so forward and back four times. Ready for it? We got two minutes. Time starts in two, one, go. So all the way up, all the way down on those obliques. Then arms and legs extended. Oh, big rock. All right, this one's gonna be a little harder, I can tell. All right, big squeeze to the top. So I'm gonna extend that leg back out when I finish that rep, when I'm, uh, when I'm on my back. I'm gonna bring that knee up here. So we're kind of getting both upper and lower halves involved here on that rotational crunch. Those hollow bodies are a little difficult to talk through, so I apologize for that. We're down to a minute left, one minute down, one minute to go. This side is a, a little bit tougher coming after that first block. We got about five minutes of work down. And we're gonna finish up strong with this second block here with these hollow bodies and these bicycles. All right, 20 seconds to go. You can get these last round of bicycles, make them good. This is our oblique work for today. 
So make sure that we are getting that full cross body extension, uh, or uh, flexion, I guess, all the way up. All right, do these last two here. Last two, one, and time. All right, a little, a little harder that round. Feel good, feel good. Getting some ab work in, that's what we're here for. All right, I'm gonna take another about 20 second break. Same two movements, smaller time block, 90 seconds. Try to get as many rounds as you just completed in two minutes in this 90 seconds. All right, you ready for it? Let's go in three, two, one, and go. Same two movements, four bicycle crunches. That's to each side. And then four of those hollow body rocks. We can modify that rock down. Uh, one leg in is gonna help pull, or you can bend both of those knees, still get that same effort. What we are looking for is that low back to stay uh, rounded, okay? One of the few times we want that lower back to round. So if we're getting into an extension and you're, when you roll back, you're going straight from those hips to those shoulders, all right? And that core is not engaged. We need to pull those legs in and create that rounded low back, all right? So you should be rocking on that low back, on those hollow body rocks, all right? So make sure you make any necessary modifications so we can get the most out of this workout while still being safe, still practicing good movement patterns. All right? Rocks don't have to be super big either. Just getting some movement front to back. Last five seconds. Last three, two, one, and time. All right, how'd you do? And you get your two rounds, get your three rounds, get your eight rounds. Oh, wow, nice. Just kidding. If you did, awesome, good job. Um, but it may need to work on that counting a little bit. Okay, we've got a one final round, folks. Just enough time. We're gonna get 60 seconds of work here. Same four bicycle crunches, same four hollow body rocks, smaller time blocks, 60 seconds. You ready? Let's go for it. In two, one, go. Again, this is our final round. This is our sprint to the end here. So we're going to try to get all that work in a lot less time. 60 seconds. Trying to control that rock. You're getting right into this. So we don't have to flip all the way over for these two movements. So our transition time is going to be a lot shorter, which means we're able to get more rounds in. We've got 20 seconds. Squeeze each rep. Come on. Pull those abs in nice and tight. Final 10. Finish strong. And time. No, it's got really far out that way. Um, all right. That's it. You made it. That's all we have today. Um, awesome job. I appreciate the energy that I know you brought. This this screen is, is very telling of what's happening over there. So I'm glad that you worked really hard. Go take yourself a little break. Grab some water. 